six, Tavin Trough Cougars. Must have a good day. Number five, the Gardegals Meat Hips. So tasty. <laughs> What are you eating, Cheryl? Want some red beans and rice? Beef tips. Beef ends. Beef ends. Beef ends. No, that's beefy end. These are beef ends. What are you eating? I want you to take a look at this. Oh! That's pure hog skin. Oh! Could be catfish, we weren't sure. Oh! I was going to use it to repair my sneakers when or the day is done. Or it could be nugget hide. That's right. <laughs> Oh. Scott, what are you eating? Burnt beef ends. Oh yeah, I had some of those. John, what a good sport. Oh God, I keep pulling up weird things. Love it from Big Trump. Get in the Honda. Here, Terry. It's time to go? Yes. Oh, get a load of that there country girl. Now that's what I really want to have barbecued. See my daddy in bed at night. Says my woman dead and a man who cares. This might be all Really? Wow. Get <clears throat> Get a neat Bruce Mark Mark Mossley's down there. Which one is he? He's a guy on the left down there. Oh. You guys I thought it was a singing telegram. That's why everybody was standing oh. around. Oh. Well, no, could be. we don't do any telegrams. Haven't yet been there. Oh, we talked on the telephone. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Max. See you. It's my sister. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good to see you guys again. Is you down here doing a little publicity? Thanks. I guess we're just kind of running around and checking out, you know, who's here. Looking at all the handsome men. Checking out Cleveland, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Hi. 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 This is the arts and entertainment department of the Cleveland Star. <laughs> Where's your sister? Uh, Patty had to go fix the limo. So she's at the shop with the limo. Well, it's good to see the two of you. Well, no, she says the greetings. Okay, well, tell her hi. Oh, this one, he's cute. Oh, he's really busy, though. I know, I am. Oh, thanks to meet you. Oh, that's Yeah. It was a busy working day. Together? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay in the Kansas City. Well, everybody's pretty nice so far. Is this the publisher or somebody really very important with the Kansas City Star? We're going to visit right now. He's out of town today. <laughs> Mr. Hale, Hale's out of town today. Mr. Hale won't be in today. He's out of town. You're going to say something in your video camera. This is the home of Ernest Hemingway. I'll miss you, girls. Oh, you. Give Cleveland my best. I love you. Bye. <laughs> See you guys 
see you all. Nice to see you, Mr. Kansas City Star. Well, that was the Kansas City Star. And what a star it is. The jewel of the city. Well, here we go. We're going now. The lovely Leibowitz sisters are leaving. We'll see you very soon at Crown Center. Bye. Here we are back at dinner playoffs. We're not at Crown Center anymore. We had a change of plans. Around you, you see the executive accounting office. And this is John Meredith, one single sales uh, something or other. And he's trying to get through the doorway right Something or other? Yeah, he's real camera shy. That's a title. If I were Arlene, this is where I would be sitting. Beyond this doorway right here, are the owners <coughs> of the company, Richard and Dennis, and the executive vice president, Lily Sarda. They're in a meeting. Maybe they're talking about the new theater. I don't know. Yes, they were great. They were great. Dennis said that somebody blew in his this in the season. He said somebody blew in his ear. I don't know. Somebody did. Blew in his ear. What a waste, huh? I wonder if it was me. Oh, he was here last night? Oh, you met him. Yes. This is Dennis Hennessy. This is the DPI video archive. Oh, good. Hi there, archive. This is Dennis H Hennessy. It's your archive. And Richard's not here right now. He's probably in the restroom. This is this is Lily Zarda, our Everybody. executive vice president. <laughs> so we're going to various places and, and, and so on and so forth. Oh, so that you have so memory of Putting yeah. a video together Great. for Christmas, huh? Yeah. Right. Now we're moving into the single sales office. This is the single sales. This is the driving force behind the dinner playhouse environment. Let's walk this way. After you, ladies. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. This is Sean here. Hi. Hi. It's Sean. This is it. Huh? This is our sales this office. Is, this is our office. Single yeah. sales office. This is Effie. And this is Booty sitting over there in the blue. That's Shanita. She's our box office manager over at Tiffany's Attic and Jim Nimmo. And Dennis Kaufman is our, our season sales manager. These are the people that actually make it happen. Sisters, right here, they're playing at the Tiffany's Yeah. 
these young ladies down here, don't you think? Yeah! Say something funny before you go. Just hurry up on down to Tiffany's attic because we want to see you down there. You'll have a great time. If not, uh, well, tell, don't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to see everybody, okay? <laughs> I want some phone numbers. What <laughs> 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 Good job, ladies. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's kind of right. a little Oh, do we know how to play a room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the round. In the round. It worked well. It worked well. Tracy, look, I appreciate what you're trying to do. We're happy that you're with us again, and it's nice to see you here at the Metcalf Mall. And it's my camera, even though Liz went to a lot of trouble to get it. <laughs> and I'm happy that I have it again now, here at Metcalf Mall in KCMO. Mo. <laughs> Yum, yum. It's time for a treat this afternoon, right, Terry? Right. <laughs> Two chocolate malts, one chocolate shake, a small root beer, and a small Diet Coke. It's a Lebo treat time. Well, thank you, Terry. You're welcome, sweet pea. Say something intelligent now. I don't know nothing smart. She doesn't know nothing smart. How about you over here, beautiful? You just said something very intelligent. <laughs> oh, this is pre-show, by the way. This is before the show starts. Now, Mama was uh, a pretty large woman herself. You know, we uh, were in her image, I guess you might say. Except that uh, she was a little short. She's only 4'9". <laughs> then we moved here to Cleveland. We've been here in Cleveland now for about uh, three years. <laughs> <laughs>
dating, she wants to know if we're engaged, and uh, your friend here wants to know if we've got a boyfriend. Who, you? You want to know? Sheldon, can you hit him with a spot? <laughs> Are you tired, Cheryl? Why are you tired? You're just excited about what you have to go do. I'm not really tired. We just did a live show and now we have to be here with the male strippers. Hey, hello. This is me. And uh, he messed again. up. <laughs> um, Levo part three. And then uh, what I'm going to do is say this is the first time that Tiffany's Attic has not produced a show well for me. Terry Hansen. This is how we know him. Weird, strange, abnormal. Would you want him to be your friend? Unfortunately, we have no choice. We have, have to have him as our friend. This is Terry's butt. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Oh, it won't go any further. I'll zoom away from it. This is Terry's crotch. This is Terry's head. These were already in front of the machine. I put it in a quarter, and that's what I got. Picked them up and grow. No, in the machine. Three cents a piece. Enjoy. Three cents a piece.
Put your hands together for the lovely Maplewood Sisters! I like that a little bit. No, I'll get it. Maybe, uh, maybe some people in the audience have some questions you'd like them to ask, believe me. Any other questions for you? Hey! Over here. This one. Where'd you get that jacket, girl? This one's the best. more succinctly, I think that uh, my career on the stage has been a rather fortuitous one, actually. And uh, speaking from my most honest base, I would say that one's hopes and optimisms are quickly dashed by militaristic options. And the thespians of society and the lesbians of society and the Socrates, the Platonians and the and Uranuses would find it hard to conceive of a world more vicious and complete. <laughs> you want to see the part where I choke her? Uh huh. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I can't quite get a grip here. Oh. <laughs> See, this puts her breasts in her esophagus so she can't breathe. Help! Check the choking oh. signs. Oh. The signs for suffocation <laughs> are evident. <laughs> I don't think to hang out. Oh. No, 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 you are not getting my butt. They're all allergic. Yeah. Oh. oh. Audience into thinking, that right? Yeah. But it's such an effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, that's so funny though when you wind well, up. Well, and what's and what's so <laughs> hilarious is that Jane and I, who are equally, <laughs> Jane and I, who are equally as large as she is, are both sitting there like this already, and yet she could do that, you know? <coughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so dim. This is the prep. Well, they, I, I do the, it once and I don't make it. And they, they laugh at that. They laugh at it. They yeah. do. They well, laugh. it's funny. Oh, it's hilarious. It's a great sidekick. It's great you know what's weird though? In the first dialogue right now, it's funny. Gets a bigger laugh than what? Yeah. You promise. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, the laugh is in a different area than, mm -hmm. than it used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a creature is stirring. Not even Charles Cleavage. <laughs> are you recording? Well, then, yeah. These are the artistic juices creature. I was talking about earlier before you had the uh, right. camera on. Is that where this, we are this, is, back, back to no, no, this is art all over Except the page. -like scampering. Who is art? No, the scampering Who the hell is art and why are we dancing with it? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Rifling, rifling, through, the rifling through the garbage the to save bows for mama. Yeah, so if, uh, <laughs> cello, it's good. That's a beautiful That's creature. creature. Get me into Can you just picture that? Story. I mean, the, the whole house is asleep and there's young. It's <laughs> rushing through. We've gone off track, so it's good. It went suddenly to a the stumble of Cousin Leo, or the, the thumping, the th something like that. And when Cousin Leo tripped into the tree, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got into the whole game. So they, we know that it's Santa Claus, or we're going to... Yeah. Keep well, see, if, if it's going to be Leo, then he, the only reason Sally would do it is so you can see it. So name. you've got to be... A... Cheryl, I wonder why your neck hurts. 
and sets out a plate of kosher cookies for Santa and carrots for the reindeer. Mama cooks the turkey and Uncle Solly brings the milk and David. Cousin Sheldon slices the halva while Mr. Argyle plays Silent Night on the piano. Rabbi Abramowitz and Father Donatelli drop over and share a cup of eggnog and play the dreidel game. <laughs> Mama even lets Yannick's in the house. Then he gets to eat in the kitchen. Even Milton the doorman here at the Amazon, an old army buddy of Uncle Solly's, stops by with his wife Rose's famous cheese blintzes and a yulakaka. Mmm. And his friends of Uncle Sully's drop by, Antonio, Vinny, and Ira, for their annual Christmas bonus. Now the fun begins. <laughs> Maxine twirls her Christmas machetes. Remember the time she stripped the tree with just two strokes? Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, we only had six menorah candles that year. Whoosh, whoosh. And the bond, just like every year, serves a seasonal specialty granulated goose gizzards flambe. It's not so bad if you put a little chocolate sauce over it. Patty insists on everyone opening their family presents in alphabetical order, starting with the letter P. As friends and family say good night and wish us happy holidays, Cousin Sheldon is asleep on the couch, snoring in the rhythm of Bobby Argyle's themes and variations <laughs> on Silent Night. Uncle Sully kisses us. <laughs> Gunk. Uncle Sully kisses us all good night, and Mama helps her girls to bed. She hoists the van to the top of the triple bunk bed, rolls Maxine into the middle bunk, and helps Patty sink into the lower bunk. As we drift into dreams, in dancing in our heads are visions of candied yams, um, turkey with matzo stuffing, Kris Kringle Kugel, cabbage rotini, matzo ball knish, or matzo, uh, mozzarella knish, potato mascioli, or cello salad. Cello salad. I like cello salad. Especially with this in the Santa mold with a little dollop of mayo for his beard. It's good. Not a creature is stirring, except for the scampering rodent-like sounds of Yanni's rifling through the garbage mm -hmm. to save the bows from Mama. <laughs> Finally, we are fast asleep. When up on the bunk there arose such a clatter, Levon fell off the bed because she missed the ladder. <laughs> this woke, woke us, us up. up. <laughs> we ran down the stairs in our matching lemon chiffon beanie pajamas. We dashed for our stockings hanging on the mantel just under the menorah. We enjoyed what Santa had brought us in. Mom and Uncle Sully joined us as we all began to sing. Oh, Hanukkah, whatever the song is. Sing the song, Happy Holidays. Hey, Argyle, get it. We need a beginning. We need a beginning. And we need, we need to flush out the three white guys. Yeah. And we need to cut one of the food things in the mm -hmm. list. Okay. This seven. Drop. Uh, this which seven. one do you like? Cabbage rotini, pot, potato mozzarella, mozzarella canish. Which one do you like? Mozzarella canish. About the pot is that's about three minutes and forty-five seconds long. That's all in that just was. Yeah. So with all the laps and everything, that's going to be a good same. seven or eight minutes. Yeah. Potato mozzarella. And the song. Cabbage rotini. Could be ten. Well, to me, potato mozzarella is the least. Well, it's not as long as we cheese want cheese to make it. Yeah. Cabbage rotini makes it real. Yeah. Or short yeah. as we want to make it. Yeah. Cut potato mush. Yeah. Land is still And I, I like the way that we need yeah. 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 that first sentence sounds. Yeah. We just need like one more sentence to make that it funny. Just, just says three just friends of Uncle Sully's. Yeah. But they only come Antonio, Vinny, and Ira drop by for their annual Christmas bonus. Flush! Buns? Ooh, look at this spread. Yes, yes, Schnuckles. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Oh, buns! Okay, we'll pass the buns. Happy 
Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. There's the cook. Here's the cook. <laughs> God, I hope this is Cheers. Let's not play anything for my friend's favorite home videos. You just pick up a hunk of ham. I love it when you give me your meat. Thank you. This doesn't have an well, audio section, does it? That's on <laughs> <laughs> It's stereo. And stereo. And stereo. And stereo. Yeah. It's frightening. Well, Chris, do you want a piece of ham? Look at this yes, beautiful bird. And who's Thank carving it today? <gasps> Why, it's Terry Hansen. Hmm. Who else we have? He's so good with his hands. Isn't he though? It's fabulous. I've yes. been told. How is everything? The taste is delectable. Oh yeah. Delicate. Oh, just awe-inspiring. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Liz, how is everything? Well, it just looks beautiful, but I honestly haven't had a taste wow. yet. Okay, go ahead. Should I eat the whole mm -hmm. thing? Uh -huh. All right, here we go. No Trees. Mm. And the flowers should be. I want you to notice, uh, can you get this? A wide angle, perhaps. This is a flour omelet. <laughs> this is the gravy that ate Westport. Notice the gelatinous texture. Yes, I mean, this, this, I would put my finger in None this. None of you I, got up I, to make the dinner. I just, I just, I just didn't We were nails. impressed that you tried. Because well, I was None of us got up and tried. Next time, I would add the flour slowly. Next time, I would add the flour slowly. <laughs> Promise? Well, now look at the plates. How do you feel, Cheryl? I'm, I'm going to have one more piece of white meat. Well, I would. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, I'm Terry. stuffed beyond recognition. And Jane? I'm going to finish off this dollop of <laughs> dressing. <laughs> dollop. This dollop. And then prepare myself for all the dessert. Just in time. I found you just in time. Oh, Terry, just in time. I want your. Those are my parents were born too, but after talking with you know my grandparents and all that stuff, I mean it's all familiar. You know, there's a lot of familiarity mm -hmm. there. I mean, God, how many people? How, how many times a year do you hear a bugle? You know, boogie woogie bugle boy. I mean, everyone should know that well, song. Yeah, there's yeah. no excuse. And as soon song. as it starts, I love that song because as soon as you start playing on piano. Da, da, da. I mean, they even know the drum riff. Then it starts uh -huh. to rustle, and then you hear the da da da, and then when you get it, the da ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do, people are talking to each other. Uh huh. You know, it it grows. The volume in the audience well, grows as that song begins. And see, they ended about World War One. Yeah. And, but if you I came from that direction, either that or they go backwards. Go and there's backwards. so much stuff involved in in Korea and Vietnam and all that, but you, uh, and that's, that's pieces of American history too. Coming into the plaza area of Kansas City, Missouri on Thanksgiving evening 1990, we are coming down to watch the spectacular lighting of the Christmas lights that happens every Thanksgiving evening at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so this is Main Street, and who's with us? Uh, Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor, and people we don't know. <laughs> and Kathleen Turner. Oh, and Kathleen Turner. <laughs> Kathleen and who's that in front of us? Joel Gray. Oh, Joel Gray. Joel Gray. And, uh, no, who is it? <laughs> who is this? Who is Joel Gray's date tonight? Who is this? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I'd like your autograph so I can find out who you are. This is Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr? Yes, hi. Look out, Cheryl. Oh, Jerry. Last holiday. <laughs> Last holiday. Look, it's a quarter to eight. It's a Lebo time. Ray, Ray, Ray Milland and the Lebo Institute. 
Exactly. Now the cops are horns, like the lights can hear. <laughs> Chris Rebbe. <laughs> we're good, we know, we're Is that it? It's the tow truck. They saw the Now everybody goes home. <laughs> Isn't this weird? The whole totally bizarre. Well, I'm glad we stayed up here to watch this half of a building light. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, she almost oh, got her. She's down. She's one, two, three. Can't take her any place. <laughs> she didn't go. I'm sorry, buddy. Good luck. It's welcome for Uncle Terry's Christmas time favorites. Tonight, we present for you a story of great importance, of great social relevance, one that I'm sure you've never heard before. It happens on Christmas Eve. It's a wonderful story. If you listen very carefully, you can hear about this wonderful Christine Charlie's Garden. It's much too noisy here for you to tell the story. I don't think you're going to the top of the house and I'm here. Once upon a time on a snowy night, it was at Christmas.